My clematises are starting to bloom. I'm so excited. Please subscribe and you'll see more of my garden and especially my clematises starting to bloom. I have three different types here, all different colors. Another one of my clematises is starting to bloom. This is just the start, but here's a little sample of what it will look like. My clematises are blooming. I have the purple with the white. But then I also have my purple or pinkish with the darker purple inside. And then right over here, it'll be, be blooming soon, is I have a clematis that planted itself. But we're not sure what color it'll be yet. Here's a look at it from far away. You can get the whole view. But I'm really excited because I've been working on these for a few years now. So I showed you my clematises here, but as I was watering, I found one more that was hiding that I had no idea about. It's this really, really pale lavender purple. Unfortunately, I soaked it with water, so that's why it's a little limp. But oh my gosh, I love the color of this. It just popped out of nowhere. I'm so excited. And it's not like my other clematises. So you see the pale? kind of light lavender and then you get the dark purples here the light purples and whites and then that one is just a nice unique purple I'm so excited about it and this one hasn't bloomed yet so keep following and you can see that one as well Now that my clematis is done blooming for the spring, it's time for me to start deadheading it so I can help encourage more blooms uh, later into the summer. And I'll show you how to do that. First thing I'm gonna do is I wanna show you that when you're cutting your clematis, you don't wanna cut all the way down to the very end of the stem. You actually wanna just cut your head right here because what's going to happen is you have a chance of encouraging more blooms as you focus down here. Let me focus my camera a little bit. If you focus right there, we can zoom in, we'll focus. See that tiny little bud? That's what we're focusing on now. This is what we want to do. So I'm going to cut the top and let it focus on producing more buds and stems from that those nodes right there. So keep watching and I'll show you as I start deadheading the clematis. So I'll show you a few right here. Do not cut right here. Don't do that. Just cut up here. Show you some more. Here's another up top. <laughs> That's my dog wandering through my plants below. This will allow a little bit more light in to your plant as well. Focus less energy on feeding these potential seeds and they can produce a second wave of flowers. Keep watching and I'll show you the results. 
As you can see, I deadheaded a good portion. I still left that one flower up there. There's a few more in there. I'll leave those up, and now you'll see at the top, I have another section I can start deadheading. So I'll start with that, but I started inside the middle, trying to get a lot of those. You can see a little section right there. I'll keep working on those, and then continue to the other clematis. Now that I got a good portion of the top section, I'll start working on my next clematis right here. And there's some more of the dead head in here as well. Here's the results from deadheading my clematis. Both of them, I have two different types here. And I'll show you the second set of blooms when they come in a few more weeks. And that's my puppy dog enjoying my garden.